Welcome back to our ECMED TV studios. Our guest now for our interview is Luisa Maria Vieira Pesch, who's from the University of Porto, the Faculty of Pharmacy in Portugal. Luisa, nice to have you with us in the studio. Welcome to ECMED 2015. Many thanks. Also, I'm very pleased to be here. <laughs> to <have> Excellent. <laughs> now, why are you here? You're presenting a paper, I understand? Yeah, we are presenting, my group is presenting several studies. In fact, uh, uh, I counted uh, and uh, we'll present 17. Uh, so it will be a lot of uh, studies that we conducted. And uh, we have uh, particularly one oral communication uh, that is in a hot topic, in a hot subject right now. And uh, this is one of uh, our interests. That Excellent. You're in food safety and clinical microbiology. Yes, it's your true. area. Yeah. Food poisoning, as I would call <laughs> it, basically. How did you choose to get into this area of specialty? Oh, that uh, uh, is uh, related also with my graduation. I'm graduate, uh, graduated in uh, uh, pharmaceutical sciences, pharmaceutical science. And uh, since uh, several, I must say already, decades, <laughs> I'm working uh, on uh, the university and uh, doing uh, research uh, on this area. Was it always a passion for you? Yeah, it was really a passion from the beginning. Did you have a stomach <laughs> upset as a child and <laughs> tried to figure out why and how? Uh, no, it was a little bit later that I was really aware of these type of problems. But uh, really, uh, I was uh, very, very curious about uh, the role of bacteria in different type of disease. And uh, of course, uh, the ones that are associated with gastroenteritis is also it was also a now, when a we talk about the gastro diseases of that of that nature, um, salmonella, things along that line. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking about stuff that's centuries old, but we haven't really got a definitive handle on it yet. And here we are in 2015. Is science lagging in this instance? Yeah, in the we need to consider salmonella in the recent years. Uh, really, uh, some improvements. Uh, were achieved uh, regarding the control of these bacteria. And uh, in the last years, we, in, at least uh, in the European Union, we are really able to see a decrease uh, in the incidence of infection associated with this uh, salmonella. And uh, this is uh, very interesting because it's related with the control that uh, is currently uh, on course on the, the main source of this problem. That means the chickens and, of course, the eggs that we consume from the chicken and the meat that you consume. So uh, in the last uh, years, uh, in the European Union, a lot of effort uh, was done in order to reduce the amount of on this primary level. And as a consequence, we are now able to see a decrease, finally a decrease in incidence of uh, salmonella infections. So we're winning the war. Yeah, I, it, it seems so. Battle by battle. It, yes, it seems so. so you mentioned part. your own area of research, and you are a specialist mm -hmm. researcher as well, with a number of papers published. Um, your own research led you to this hot topic. Tell me about the hot topic. Yeah, the, the, it's another uh, hot topic, in fact, because salmonella still is also a, a hot topic, although decreasing. But the other one that are currently in clinical microbiology, we are really aware, is the carbapenemase producing bacteria. Mm -hmm. Because these bacteria uh, can really, if they produce carbapenemase, is a, a, an enzyme that is able to hydrolyze, that means to inactivate very important antibiotics to treat human infections. So we really uh, need to stop the dissemination of these bacteria. And for that, we need methods that are able to quick and, uh, if possible, at low cost to detect these bacteria. And that is the subject of this uh, oral presentation. In fact, uh, we will present a comparison between an in-house test to detect these bacteria uh, in comparison with uh, a commercialized one. And wow, uh, okay. yeah, and so this is a breakthrough from the university now working hand in glove with commercial companies. Yeah, y yes, y we did uh, that comparison uh, with the contribution of uh, this uh, company that supplied us uh, the, this kit. And uh, uh, the also the good news uh, that the, the kit is performing quite well. Uh, we had uh, a sensitivity of 93.3% uh, with uh, another percent of specificity although the uh, in-house test uh, still have a better performance, around 100% one, uh, from our studies uh, for sensitivity and for specificity. So we see new products being developed from the work that you've done from an original research? 
Uh, yeah, that's, uh, it's always a little bit difficult to mention that we are the ones that uh, create something that is original because really our method, this blue carb, was developed because other colleagues before us also worked on the subject. And uh, I should mention that there is another uh, product and another test that is the NP carb that was f uh, appeared first than uh, our method. And really it was a, a very important one in order to further develop and have this blue carbon test right now. And that's a case of collaboration, I guess, which is very much what ECMED is all about in terms of bringing people together at yeah. this incredible Congress. Yeah. You obviously seem quite happy to be here as well. Yes, 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 for a long, long period. I think my first ECMED was in 1997. Wow, I okay. think, yeah, so uh, maybe I missed uh, two ECMEDs from <laughs> since then. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it really is a very good opportunity in terms of uh, um, update our knowledge knowledge, uh, scientific, basic knowledge, and uh, clinical also at, uh, in terms of practice also. And of course, to uh, have, uh, and to see colleagues, to have the opportunity to be with a lot of people here, networking is also very important. So when you plan your trip around an ECMED event like this, what do you look for first and foremost? Do you look for content or do you look for networking? I'm thinking of people who are uh, thinking about ECMED for next year in Istanbul. Help them work out what they should be doing in terms of understanding this huge, massive event. I think the content, it will be the first uh, point that, uh, the first issue that we should, and that I, I for ECMID, I should say that uh, I know that it will be fantastic next, next year again. So uh, just uh, I'm already uh, a fan of ECMID. So it's very, for me, it's not a matter of uh, seeing uh, if the program is okay, because I know that you a know lot it always of- always will be. Yeah, will be. And I know that a lot of different topics that I'm interested in will be uh, on this Congress. So uh, I'm not a good person, in fact, <laughs> to mention if- What we do should you do though? Is it 50% content, 50% networking? Uh, um, How do you balance but, uh, it yourself? But for other Congress, for other type of Congress, I think the content for me is the uh, most important one. But here it's networking. It here is the both. It's, it really is both. Yeah, because that's here, amazing. Yeah, because I, uh, it is very interesting because in the past, uh, I tried to go to ICAC uh, also. Uh, but since uh, maybe uh, five years, uh, I, for me, it, it, the ECMIT is right now is enough in terms of novelties, in terms of also have the opportunity to see the colleg colleagues to share uh, some uh, information. So really, uh, it is a reference right now. It's Excellent. a very good I, I know you're busy preparing as well for your oral paper tomorrow, but thinking about the new innovations at ECMIT, it just keeps getting mm -hmm. better and better, doesn't yeah. it? The yeah. new stuff now with the TV station, the channel, the yeah. all the papers being published, all of the access to everything in the virtual world. You can spend an awful lot of time in the course of the next 12 months just looking at what's <laughs> happening here yeah. in four days. Yes, it is fantastic and it is fantastic how it is uh, really uh, updating every year and with novelties and very interesting thing that I think that people really are pleasant also to have these novelties. Terrific, well thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule okay. to come and talk to us on ECMED TV. Uh, Louisa it's Maria, I wish you a great Congress. Many thanks. Thank you for joining us and a pleasure meeting you. Good okay. luck with your paper. Yeah, many thanks. Thank, thank you. you so much.